Hey, can I ask you one thing? Why is there... No one in this town! <sighs> You're right. I don't see anyone around. No adults or children. Where are we anyway? I think we're near Kamakura. Our bus got caught up in an accident on our way to Kamakura, so... Is this Kamakura? Or a run downtown nearby? This is way beyond run down! Or maybe some kind of disaster happened. What if it was a nuclear war? Or some kind of horrible virus and the whole town was quarantined? Maybe it was that meteor? You guys all saw it from the bus, right? The thing in the sky. Do you think it has to do with the X-shaped thing? X? X? Oh my gosh, you guys! Look over there! The X thing from before? <gasps> oh, it's just a billboard. But it's not just an ordinary billboard. Look what it says. What? You're kidding me! Kagoshima? Wait, Kagoshima? Where is Kagoshima? Uh. So, Kansai sucks at reading and geography. Hmm. Not just that! Math and science, too! That's everything except P.E. Kagoshima is a prefecture in southern Kyushu, one of Japan's four islands. It's 950 kilometers from Tokyo as the crow flies, or 1,200 kilometers by car. 1,200 kilometers? Come on, man! Get serious! But we were heading to Kamakura from Tokyo! Uh, yeah. That's why we're all surprised. We were going to Kamakura, so how did we end up in Kagoshima? Oh. What's going on here? We were heading to Kamakura on the bus, and the meteor came down. We woke up, and we were in an undersea theme park and forced to play a fate game. We escaped and then found ourselves in Kagoshima, 1,200 kilometers from Tokyo. And to top it off, there's not a single person in sight. Does this kind of thing happen? Ever? Nothing makes sense! I think my head is going to explode! Oh. <sighs> oh, maybe the Mastermind would know. The Mastermind? The one who forced us to play the fate game. You said that the mastermind is among us. Seriously? I said that? Yes, you did! So who's the mastermind then? Uh... Um... fell from the ceiling, and I remember Aniki swept me up in his arms, but... Hey, I didn't sweep you up in my arms. But it's so weird. 
It's like the memory about the mastermind has vanished from my mind. Hold on. Could she be trying to cover for them? I'm not. I'm not. Or maybe Pi is the culprit. Give me a break. So you're telling the truth, huh? I can tell a liar just by looking them in the eye. Bogus! My dad's a doctor. You don't believe me? Huh? That doesn't give you the power to detect lies! Anyway, it looks like Pi really can't remember anything about the mastermind. She took a big hit to the head back there. So, in other words, she has amnesia? I guess so. Ugh. Huh. Whatever. We've known each other a long time now. Pi wouldn't lie to us. What's more important is to figure out what's going on in this town. You're right. Um, just a second. Aren't you supposed to stay put in emergencies? Why? Well, I mean, the whole thing's so crazy. There might be zombies around or something. Oh, Mochan, you're such a little chicken. A chicken? Yeah, the N in Mochan must stand for mouse. Mochan the mouse, right? No, the M doesn't stand for mouse. The M stands for macho. I'm a macho hero. Come on, don't make me laugh, little mouse. I saw you pee your pants because of lightning. Hero my butt. A hero is someone that saves his friends no matter how dangerous it is. You up for that? Nope, didn't think so. <laughs> Anyway, first we need to find other people. Let's split into three groups. Ready, rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Great. That makes three teams. We're Team Rock! We're Team Scissors. And we're Team Paper. What about you, Aniki? <laughs> Don't worry. I'd just get in your way anyway. Later. Looks like Big Bro's back in hater mode. Maybe he feels bad about how he acted at that amusement park. Cause he was so horrible to everyone. But we were all brainwashed or something, right? Whatever. That dude likes being a lone wolf. Okay, let's decide on a time to meet up. We'll meet back here just before sunset, okay? Cool. Come on, team. Let's go. But where do we even start? Hmm. Rock is going west and Scissors is going north. Okay, then maybe Team Paper goes east. Yeah, yeah, cool! Uh, huh? Guys, hey, wait up! Look, over there! Did you hear that rustling sound? Maybe someone's there. Yeah, let's go see! Uh... Right.
Hey, Rachel, what's the deal? What do you mean? Right. Seriously though, Rachel, your powers are amazing! I'm talking about how you can throw! Like when you threw that helmet in the amusement park! Yeah, like nobody else could throw a hunk of metal that far! How did you do that? Doesn't look like Rachel can explain it himself. One of those I-just-did-it-without-thinking type deals? Are all the weird things happening somehow connected, you think? Mm. Uh, over there! That rustling sound again! Let's check it out. You okay? Looks like a flower to me. Yeah, but normally flowers don't have eyes! Well, neither do plungers. Huh? Anyway, Rachel! good. No dial tone. Yeah, it looks like power's out across the whole town. 
So we can't watch TV to see what's going on either. What happened here anyway? Those giant plants are a mystery too. Could it be that pollution made the plants DHA mutate or something? It's not DHA, it's DNA. Huh? Anyway, our only option is to find some people. You can't. It's crazy how there isn't anybody around. Besides that rustling, you mean. Hey, look, everyone! Mangoes! Huh? Miyazaki and Okinawa are famous for mangoes! But Kagoshima grows lots, too! Mangoes are in the Mangifera genus, and they're related to cashews! That's why people with Mangifera allergies get itchy mouths when they eat them. I heard some people even pass out. Oh, really? Seriously, Mochan, all you ever do is think about food. Anyway, let's find out what that rustling is. It must be close by. Yeah, this time I'm gonna find out who it is. Come on, Mochan. Let's go. Wait, just give me a. What's that smell? It's definitely not the smell. It has to be. Hey, what are you. We're gonna leave you behind! Rustling sound from before stopped. And there's still nobody around. This is totally crazy! It's insane! Why isn't anybody around? You just figured that out? And there's giant plants shaped like plungers! Some, like, really terrible thing must have happened. Yeah, that's what Jenny said. Maybe it's because of that meteor we saw from the bus. Maybe. Yeah, I've been thinking that. And the strange thing we saw in the sky, too. Oh, so you two saw it, too? I thought I was hallucinating. Yeah, I saw it for sure. Mochan, you saw it too. Huh? Wait, where's Mochan? He d disappeared! Mochan is gone! He probably just wandered off. Right, let's find him! It's gonna get dark soon. We have to find Mochan quick. Let's go see.
Whoa! What is it this time? Maybe scallops? Scallops aren't that spiky. Besides, this isn't the ocean, you know. Rachel, take care of it! That's weird. Where did Mochan go? I can't think of any other road but this. Hey! I think I hear Mochan's stomach grumbling! Oh, Mochan. What are you doing there? Um, was Mochan always that lurid and colorful? No, he's softer and more pastel-y than that. Like, what's with that super gross deep sea tropical fishy thing? Well, we at least know it's not a fish. <laughs> a dog? That thing is a dog? <laughs> well, that's one thing figured out. What? That thing that was rustling around? I bet it was this. And it got angry because we kept following it. Right. Sorry, Mr. Doggy. We thought you were someone else. Ah! I'm vanilla, but I'm not made of ice cream, you know. I taste really bad, I swear.
No, I need to go and get help! Oh, Mochan, you're such a little chicken! A hero is someone that saves his friends, no matter how dangerous it is. I'm... I'm... Was that? Are you okay? Are you hurt? No, it looks like I'm okay. But didn't you get bit? Yeah, I did. But you're not hurt. Nope. Why? How? Beats me. You don't have to thank me. Mochan's M stands for Macho. For sure! You are such a hero, Mochan! So what were you doing here, Mochan? Well... Er, I caught the scent of this and came to get it. A peach? It's unusual to find peaches in Kagoshima. It's gotta be good luck. Did you know, peaches are famous for being good luck charms. Like the story of Son Goku stealing peaches from heaven and eating them so he could live a long life. And at the Seimei Shrine in Kyoto, there's a monument in the shape of a peach. Basically, peaches are the fruit of luck. With this, we'll be able to get back to Tokyo for sure. Jeez, Mochan. Just what is going on? That monster plant in that creepy dock. So that means... Everyone else saw them too? Yeah. Maybe they got sprinkled with harmful chemicals and mutated. While we were sleeping? Is it possible for mutations to happen in such a short period of time? <sighs> Anyone else have something to report? Well, we didn't see a single train. Seems there's no power in the whole area. The buses have been abandoned, too. Phones aren't working, and there's nothing coming through the radio. The police station and the fire station were empty. Nothing on the police radio either. Not a word. How did this all happen? <sighs> no clues to help figure out what's going on. We came up empty. No, we did get one thing. Look! A peach? Yeah! I stuffed my bag full of them! There's enough to share with everyone! But... Thanks.
So, what are we supposed to do now? I just want to go home. <laughs> I hope there's a home we can go home to. <laughs> what makes you think Tokyo will be fine? It may be the same as here. Not a person in sight. No way! We may be the only ones left. Everybody else might be. Who knows, but I wouldn't be shocked if it were true. There's that whole meteor thing, too. Maybe it was the Great King of Terror landing on Earth. Great King of Terror? The year 1999, seventh month, from heaven will come a Great King of Terror. To bring back to life the Great King Angelmoi. Isn't that from Nostradamus's prophecies? Yeah. But it's still 1995. Right? 1999 isn't for four more years. Maybe the plan got brought forward a bit. What plan? I don't know. Some evil organization's plan or something. <sighs> That's stupid. Yeah, but it is a fact that a meteorite struck. So then you think everyone in Tokyo... Hey, don't even say it! You're just gonna freak everybody out. None of us know what it's like in Tokyo. What's it like in Tokyo, huh? I seriously wonder what's going on in Tokyo. Wait. Don't tell me. We're going to go check! But without any buses or trains, how? You're not seriously thinking of walking? All the way to Tokyo? Oh, come on. That's impossible. From here to Tokyo is 1,200 kilometers, right? <laughs> Yeah, but there's no other way. Better than staying here, that's for sure. Kansai! True, staying here is no guarantee of finding help. Not you too, Nyoro. Fine, count me in two. And me. I'll give it my best shot. Ugh, fine, if that's the case, I'll join too. What about you, Jenu? When in doubt, take the harder path. It's a line from the Hoseki Zuka theater troupe. Wait a minute. Have you all gone crazy? I can't do it. There's no way. How can I walk 1,200 kilometers? We'll be going through Osaka on the way. There's loads of tasty grub there. I'll go. I am totally going. I want to go to Osaka, too. I've got, like, something serious I have to take care of. So that leaves... I take my own path. It just so happens it's the same way you're all going. Gosh, you're so full of it. Well, it's set then. Okay then, everybody! Tokyo or bust! Go Getters Club! Hey, hey, oh!
The city is huge, but there's no one in sight. It's totally crazy. Let's say there was some kind of natural disaster or war. Then how come we haven't seen a single dead body around? Come to think of it, our homeroom teacher was gone when we woke up in that amusement park. People just got erased. Why couldn't they have erased me, too? We're all taking a trip to Tokyo tomorrow! I can't wait! Oh, but then again, we're just trying to get home, so it's not really a journey, is it? Anyway, like, whatever. But before we go to Tokyo, I want to stop in Osaka. Why? <laughs> well, it's a secret. The meteor we saw from the bus. It looked like it fell towards Tokyo. I heard a few dozen meteors hit the Earth every year, but they're really small. But if a meteor that size hit Tokyo, there's no way Tokyo could. But I won't believe it until I see it for myself. Man, I'm missing this week's Electro Rangers. I hope it's recording like it's supposed to. Huh? What's Electro Rangers? Rachel? You don't know the Electro Rangers? Well then, let me tell you. Electro Rangers is a Sunday morning superhero TV show. Five different colored heroes work together to fight evil. It's four kids, but it's got a powerful underlying philosophical theme. It's groundbreaking and fans argue endlessly over what genre it is. Oh, that's enough explanation? Well, if we make it back safely, I'll lend you all my copies of Electro Rangers. Don't you think this tent and these food supplies are awesome? We found them when we were exploring the area. Kansai's rock team were the ones that got the tent and the cookware. But it was our team that got the actual food and condiments. We didn't spot any people, but we found plenty of food supplies. But I made sure to leave a note saying I'll pay you later. We all got brainwashed back at the theme park, right? Why did this mastermind do that anyway? Was it just so we'd play the game of fate? But it was the game itself that fixed the brainwashing. The brainwashing, the fate game, none of this makes sense. I pulled over those monsters before? I don't know what happened. I thought, I gotta save everyone. And then I felt like I was burning from the inside. Was that the same for you too, Rachel? What's happening to us anyway? Hey, wasn't the curry we had before kind of spicy? It must have been rough for someone who can't handle spicy stuff. I mean, it's no problem for me, but... You... you think so? But I used the mild curry paste. Chuko's always been a baby about spicy stuff. 
I said I'm fine! Pfft, I was watching. You barely touched your food. Ugh. Why were you watching me so close anyway? Because I've seen you pass out even when you eat Star Prince curry. What? But that curry is famous for being super mild. Th that's just a nasty rumor. I'm totally fine with spicy foods. I eat chili peppers three times a day. I bathe in chili peppers. I even go to bed hugging a chili pepper. So what was that creepy plant anyway? I don't remember reading about anything like that in science class. What must it eat to get that big? A mutation? If a company did that to people, they'd be shut down! I drink milk every day, but look at me! Come to think of it, those creepy plants were chomping on mangoes like crazy! <sighs> Maybe I'll try eating some every day, too. I wonder what that X in the sky is. You think it's a UFO? But I've never heard of one shaped like that before. And even if it was a UFO, it's just floating there and no one's coming out of it. Hmm. So who was behind the game of fate anyway? Pi said she forgot, but... But we know one of us is the mastermind, so how is anyone okay with that? We can't trust anyone, can we? So, Rachel, is it you? Hmm... Why are we camping here, you ask? Of course I want to get to Tokyo as soon as possible. But after all that's happened, everyone must be really beat, right? Besides, it's dangerous out at night. There are no lights, so it'll be pitch black. So I figured we should camp here by the shore, where it seems safer. player and there's only one safe spot. Oh, come on! Just let me play a little! Oh, I know. If you let me play it, I promise I'll design a special game just for you. Oh, Rachel, you didn't know? I'm a genius programmer! A self-proclaimed genius, anyway. I even won the Worldwide Kids Programming Challenge! So, I promise I'll make a game that's way better than what you're playing. Anyway, the answer is no. You can't play. What? After all that, you won't let me try? Oh, are you playing a pervy game? What have you got there, Tatsun? Walkie-talkies. I found them in an electrical store in town. 
If we're going to Tokyo tomorrow, we'd better bring these with us. Spoken like a true son of Tatsukawa Electronics. Here, Rachel, pass them around. There's one for everybody. Wait a minute. Why does Rachel get to hand them out? Well, it's because Rachel is sort of the leader of the Go-Getters Club. Leader? Who decided that? Uh, I said, who decided that, dummy? Yikes! Hey, Rachel! I always wondered something. You're just a transfer student, so how come you act all high and mighty? He doesn't act like that. He sure does! I'm the leader of the Go-Getters Club! Not some stupid newbie. Being a transfer student or new here is irrelevant. It is relevant. Not knowing someone long enough means you can't trust them. Rachel could even be the one behind the whole game of fate. Huh? huh? How do you figure that? Just think about it. Rachel was totally clear-headed when the Game of Fate started. Plus, he's the one that won. Rachel must have planned it all. It was all just a plot to oust me as group leader. Don't play dumb. I'm just being real here. Hey, Pi! Rachel is the one behind the Game of Fate, right? Hmm... Could be. On the other hand, maybe not, though. Uh, hey, Kansai. You need to chill out. Now's not the time to go looking for the culprit behind all this. Exactly. Especially since we've just decided to head back to Tokyo. You start down that road, and suddenly... Everyone starts looking suspicious. Y yeah for sure I've got to agree. In episode 32 of Electro Rangers, everyone's distrust caused dark energy to power up the evil monster and... Anyway... Even if the Mastermind is here, getting them riled up isn't the best way to go. Yeah, probably best not to look into it for everyone's safety, too. Hmm. <laughs> Got it. Fine, then. I'll leave it at that. Just don't forget that I'm the leader of the Go-Getters Club. I'm the real leader, and this badge here proves it. Huh? A badge by itself doesn't mean anything. Does, too! Only true leaders can wear it. It's the real deal! Are you listening to me, Rachel? Anyway, what is that thing? A new kind of airship or something? No, I don't think so. It's... What the hell are you talking about? Huh? Why are you staring at the ocean like that anyway? Who? Huh? Huh? <gasps> Could it be? None of the others? Can see what we do. That's what I've been saying the whole time! Fukuoka's the busiest freaking place in Kyushu! If we go there, we'll definitely find somebody! Hold on. 
I thought you were no good at social studies. Hey, even I know about Fukuoka. Because they got a baseball team. I told you, Kansai. Our goal is Tokyo. The best way is to go to Oita, then over the water to Ehime, and across Shikoku. Going to Fukuoka would be way out of our way. I totally agree. But our goal isn't just to go back to Tokyo. Our goal is to figure out what happened to Tokyo. Right. Now that I think about it, we don't really need to walk all the way back to Tokyo. If we find an adult somewhere, we can have them take care of us. Then we'll find out what happened to Tokyo, too. I'm sure the police or the defense force or whatever would take us back to Tokyo. So the first thing we gotta do is find an adult. That's why we should head to Fukuoka. But even if we do go to Fukuoka, it doesn't mean we'll find an adult. But there's a good chance, right? Better than going to Oita. It's way out in the boonies. Whoa! Whoa! Don't be dissing Oita. Oh, that's right. You're from Oita, Pai. Yeah, and for your info, Oita City is pretty trendy, being the capital of Oita Prefecture. Huh? We even have lots of traffic lights. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> hey! Those of you for Oita, say something! Uh... uh... Sorry, Pi. I can't lie to myself. Uh... <laughs> well, it's decided then. Yay! We're going to Fukuoka! Wait, that's not what I'm saying either. I'm for the short route through Oita, because I hate walking. <laughs> but Fukuoka's got udon, motsunabe, and spicy kadro! Uh... Don't forget about tonkotsu ramen! Okay, it's settled then. Oita it is! Tonkotsu ramen is my least favorite food in the whole world. I really want to go to Oita too! They're famous for hot springs, and I want my skin to get nice and soft. Why, Oita? I said I hate the smell of tonkotsu pork broth. Well, hot springs stink bad, too. Whoa! You're dissing Oita again! Don't you guys want to see the Fukuoka Dome? The only dome I want to see is the Lava Dome on Mount Takasaki. There's a famous video game company in Fukuoka. What's that got to do with anything? So what about you, Rachel? Which way do you think we should go? Are you nuts? Okay, Rachel is on our side. I knew our leader would make the right call. What? Oops, I meant lead assistant. Hmm. Anyway, it's decided.
the Fukuoka group has five votes. And since the Oita group has fewer... Wait. Me and Pochi haven't voted yet. You said you were going your own way! I was, but I changed my mind. I think we should go to Oita. Yay! Thanks, Aniki! So that leaves the last vote to Pochi. It all comes down to you now. Um, well... Pochi, you're definitely going to choose Fukuoka. I mean, Fukuoka is a beautiful city for adults. So, you know what I mean, right? I... uh... I... um... I... Come on, let's go together, Pochi. I... I... <laughs> okay, I choose Fukuoka. Great, it's settled. A crushing victory for the Fukuoka group. Yeah, but... You got some sort of problem? I'm the leader, and what I say goes! Either way, we had the majority. We did this the most democratic way possible. Uh... Uh... Fine, then. Do whatever you want. What? We're gonna go to Fukuoka no matter what. Uh, are you saying we're going to split up? Well, if you don't come along, that's what'll happen. We didn't do anything wrong. The Oita group are the ones being selfish. <sighs> See ya. Oh. Hey, Bochi, Rachel, what are you doing? You chose Fukuoka too, right? Let's go!